So we start with a little bit of news about Crescencio Somerville development and he can now play the right midfielder position just as well as his right wide forward position as you can see there on the little graphic. So all we need to do is get Isaacson to the same level and then both sides will be good in both right and left wide forward and right and left midfield. Anyway, we're underway against Manchester City. The referee's already got the game started. City from left to right. County in their away yellow and blue kit. From right to left, Alberto played in with a lovely pass. Simpson with the ball through, Alberto with the finish. Four minutes on the clock, County 1-0 up. Lovely ball through, Manchester City defence, caught cold. Alberto punishes. Chris Simpson, a great ball through there. There's a big enough gap to get it through. Alberto held off his man with the strength. Set himself for the shot. Two touches from the pass and finish. Arcas dispossessing Man City. Looking to play Alberto in. It's a bit too long. But Alberto's read the situation. And makes it 2-0 the county. Nine minutes gone. Or nine minutes 45 gone. 2-0 the county. Two goals for Alberto. What a good start. Just read the side that the defender was going to turn from the Arcas pass that the defender read. And then punished. There's Arcas pass trying to get it through for Alberto. The defender's got the pace on him. Gets to the ball first. Alberto reads the situation. And 2-0 the county. Come on the county. Come on boys. Giorza, Alberto, lovely pass to Oli Tarnens, sets up Christensen who absolutely wastes that one, you won't want to see that on the replay sunshine, in the area free, nobody around you, do you want a slice of cake and a cup of tea, yeah I'll have that, I must have put bubbly in the tea because he's missed the shot. And it's Man City to uh, Man City nil, Ridge County to a brace from Yuri Alberto and Christensen should have scored. He should have scored. He had the goal at his mercy. It should be three nil, but it's two. City uh, played decently, I've got to say, but looking at the footage, we we really played well. We played well, and there's no getting away from that little reverse pass shot from Christensen that's a better effort sunshine but not making the keeper work really Alberto just trying to set up someone waiting while the tournaments fill that area gets the ball in gets the shot away Man City defend and we get this free kick City mop it up ball across the back and the referee calls time on that one County walking away with the three points and I don't think you saw Manchester City threatening us so we'll see what the uh, stats say but I didn't see it didn't see it no shots didn't see it in the uh, footage I watched no shots from City. They played decently, but we, we had the measure of them, you know, with our defence. And consequently, it gave us possession and then we used it. We played well. 2-0 uh, for Tottenham also. 3-1 for Arsenal. Four goal share between Fulham and someone else. Pause and peruse at your leisure. Burnley with a big win, 4-0. West Ham win, 3-1. Forest win, 2-0. There's the table after 10 games. So... We're not on the top anymore like we were after five. But, you know, it's, it's looking all right. We've had a couple of tough games, a couple of games where it's been difficult to get anything out of them. But, you know, we're doing all right this season. Like I thought we would, we're growing as a team. So we're at home against Crystal Palace. 
Um, and I can tell you now, this match, when I looked at the footage, this looked like it was a tough game. It really did. Crystal Palace, you can see there from their shape, they're all backing off. They're all going away. It's one of these broken counter-attack tactic games. Can Army fix your game, please, for the umpteenth time from me? That broken counter-attack tactic is bad. But we get the ball through. And obviously Crystal Palace block it because they've just got everybody back all of the time. This is boring. It's frustrating. I don't like these type of games. Fix your game. Konami, please fix this broken counter-attack tactic. And you can see I get frustrated with it because when I get frustrated with it, I start showing it. So I start standing there. I cut a little bit out of the standing around, but we worked the ball through. But, you know, I just thought I'd show that because it's just, we're trying to create. We really are. And then it comes back to us. It's always on, the onus is always on us. Then it comes back to us. Then they run away again. And it's just so boring. I hate them. Please fix your game, Konami. Teams do not play like that in real life. They do not. The broken counter-attack tactic bores the hell out of me. Please fix your game, Konami. Fix it. Fix it. So anyway, into the second half. And you can tell I'm frustrated with it. The pain of playing this match is coming back. Oh my goodness. Uh, alert the media. Alert all of the media. Crystal Palace actually had a shot. Crystal Palace had a shot. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Alert the media. It really was that type of game. Honestly, trust me. I played it, I know. So we're into the 90th minute. As you can see, there's been absolutely no action. Up till, obviously, they're free here. I had to go in with a sliding challenge, block it. Um, without touching the defender and through to the keeper and then the referee calls time on that he's seen enough, the crowd had seen enough I'm surprised as anybody understands that match was deathly dull and really horrible to play please fix your game Konami teams do not play like that they don't, the broken counter attack tactic is ruining it and it's been like it all generation and people like me have told you and told you and told you. And you do not listen. Please listen. Match day 11. Board draw for us, unsurprisingly enough, from... Did I mention it was a broken counter-attack tactic? Did I mention it needs fixing? So pause and peruse at your leisure for the results. Um, yeah. Honestly, it, you play as much of it as I have over the years. Just really get really sick of it we're against Burnley now Burnley were very strong their players were really strong they were stronger than us our players weren't as strong as them our players just couldn't match them for for that um teams who are worse than your team like like Crystal Palace will always be more feisty you know they always have that little edge about them in the general play and yet teams like Manchester City, who we played, who should play you off the park, um, you're allowed to play against them. It's just weird. So this match was tough. And you can see there the shape. Um, they leave one up top and everybody else just goes away and defends. It, it's, um, it's ridiculous. It really is. Anyway, we, we've got to try and pick our men. We do. We get a shot away. Um, but this match is, is equally boring and it's nil-nil and no one is surprised. So we've got to psych ourselves up for another half of this, this excitement. You can see there Burnley two shots, one on target. Bug one shot, none on target. This match is, um, yeah, it's riveting, eh? Rivet it was riveting to play as well, trust me. Yeah, it's just as riveting. Anyway, here we are trying to create something, trying to move, move the ball about, work it around for a shot, which we do. We finally get the shot away. Keeper makes a good save. Try to get the ball in, low along the floor, into that corridor of uncertainty. But their defender annoyingly does his job. Can you, can you not, please? There you go. There he is doing his job. So anyway, we get the ball, Vucetic to Gyoza. 
to Somerville. Ball across, lovely sweeping ball across, love them. But, you know, Isaacson's not set up for the shots. It falls to Alberto. The acrobatic overhead kick hits the bar and goes over. Alberto unlucky there. Ricochets off the defender. Then he goes for the acrobatic. Just off the top of the bar there. Vucicic now waiting for the run. Alberto gets into the area. Have to take the shot, which he does. He makes the keeper earn his call. And the keeper does well. Gets down low. Gets that one away. Vucicic. To Castle Dean. I fancy having a go with Castle Dean. He's got a good shot in him, and that is a very good save. That really is. He, he really had to stretch and work to get there, and he did. That was top corner bound, let me tell you. Good save, that. Yeah, I always fancy having a go with Castle Dean when they get in and around that, that kind of area because he can, he can do it. He's good on free kicks and everything else. So, doing very well to default Castle Dean for me. Good shot there from Chris Wood. Low, fizzing low. Made our keeper work and he pulled up a good save. So both keepers doing decently well. Giroud, another flying save. Comfortably held this time by the burn, the keeper. Making it look um, more, you know, sort of sensational than it was. A bit of a, a short pass, that one. A bit of a, you know, the recipient had to work to get there. But we do play onto this wing to Tarments. Tarments now. Got options, Jerus, and he gets that wrong, and his universe has imploded. As a paddy, a proper paddy. But yeah, he did get that wrong. In hindsight, probably a little flick back on the diagonal, so the people coming into the area would have been better. But nil nil. Burnley nil, Ridge County nil. It was painful to play at times that one, but we did have a go, and it wasn't quite like the Crystal Palace game. You can see there the shot count was markedly different. We had a go, but you know keepers, and as you can see, Pope was man of the match there for Burnley. So keepers in good form. Manchester City with a big win, 4-2 against Newcastle. Tottenham win 3-0 against Palace. Um, I wonder if Palace played the same way against them as they did against us. Pause and peruse at your leisure. A uh, couple of big wins there. Goals flying in. We will see you next time. Take care.